What's up guys my name is Hossein but you can call me dark cat today in this video we're gonna talk about the best and the most strong troll in exile land of Quran exile so let's jump into the video very quick for the start I need to tell you that I already spawn all kind of meta trolls that people using in exile land and we're gonna check their melee weapon damage multiplier and we're gonna talk about the best gear you're gonna give to them and the best weapon and the like the best food so let's talk from the start we're gonna we spawn the berserker i'm gonna show you the damage multiplier on the berserker uh, it was some uh, good troll before and it was dealing so much damage you can see the berserker damage multiplier is 2.24 so we're going for the next one is beastmaster temus that it's geared hardly nerfed the recently patches you can see it's 1.3 so the beastmaster temus is not a troll you are looking for it we're gonna check the volcano trolls like this one is the archer one it's uh, it's the same like the fighter ones it's 1.92 so the volcano trolls are not also super good to use as a troll you can see the hp bars also the same all of them are around 3 to 4k hp between so we don't checking the hp bars from these trolls you can see from the lien the damage multiplier is 1.8 so the leon also not a good troll you are looking for now we're gonna check the arena champion damage multiplier you know the strongest troll existing in the exile land so you can see that the arena champion damage multiplier is 2.6 so it's a little bit higher than the berserker because berserker had 2.2 so this gonna be dealing so much damage but in this video we're gonna talk about these two most op trolls that it came to this patch age of war that you guys need to use these trolls more because they dealing so much damage look at this tugra damage if i pronounce it right is it tugra or something like that so this is a, like these two trolls are the uh, dafari trolls that when you spawn them they're gonna have 450 hp uh, i'm gonna show it now look so you can see when i'm spawning this tugra in the map you can see that it have only 429 hp this is like useless troll if you think like hp bar but if you check the damage multiplier you it's gonna be insane man look at the damage multiplier 3.12 so it's even higher than arena champion so this troll gonna hit like a truck so when you level this tugara or tugra it's gonna be around 2400 it's like decent but if you give him a good perks with the elixir of rebirth that you're gonna learn it with the magic and you can build it on the alchemist when you use it on the troll you are res resetting the points you can see the hp bar is now 3.2k so this is quite decent perks that he gets now plus 10 vitality on the first one and 15 on the last one so the second one is not really good so you can still re-rolling for getting a better perk so that's also a good tutorial for you guys to use this elixir of rebirth on the trolls to get a better perks and now we're gonna talk about the cannibal brute that it's the easiest troll to get it's early troll you can knock it pretty fast and look at the damage multiplier on this troll it's 3.22 so it's even more than tugra look at tugra is 3.12 but this troll is 3.22 so it's dealing double damage of uh, arena champion and we're gonna talk about the armor and weapons and food you're gonna give to this troll it's better to give him the stake this one the grill the stakes to level him because you're gonna level him on the vitality that it's the most thing they need not the damage you're gonna give them a 100 mace that's gonna be the momentum the best if you are fighting the world bosses and you want to kill the enemy trolls that's gonna shield the smash and you're gonna do the most damage so this is the perfect option if you want to do like one shotting players if they don't have last stand you of course using the the gada hammer that is having 101 damage and 57 armor pen it's pretty strong and if you want to just poke the enemy downs and cancel their healing in the free open pvp 
you're gonna use the Mordelin Spear, 72 damage, 21 armor pin, that you're gonna find it on the Warmaker dungeon. For the gear, we're gonna use the Silent Legion Redeemed Helmet that gives 8% strength damage. We're using the Void Forge Dragon Chest Piece that gives 8% strength damage and the highest armor value between all the chest piece armor is 555 armor. We're using the Godbreaker Hands or any other DLC hands that gives you 5% strength damage. You can see that it's heavy, 200 armor and gives 5% strength damage. If it's expensive for you, you can make a guardian or uh, something like that. We're using the champion legging for 5% strength weapon damage and 455 high armor value. You can also use uh, any other DLC that gives you strength weapon damage. And for the boots, I'm using Hyborian slave boots that give 5% strength damage, uh, 144 armor. You can choose a better option for the boots for strength, but uh, I just use the a DLC one or it's a normal one. So this is the full set with 2000 armor, it can handle some hits but these trolls gonna die fast in PvP, you need to take care of them, how to manage them, keep them closest as possible to you, they just need to do one hit to enemy, then he's in trouble, you just gonna finish him yourself. So let's just test this damage of cannibal brute on some of some uh, bosses, I'm gonna just spawn a boss here and let's test the damage of this uh, cannibal brute but also i don't have the authority attributes even if you go authority attributes you get the well trained uh, perk you got your troll gonna get plus 20 on everything so this 3k hp gonna be around 5k hp with the well trained uh, perks on uh, authority and it's gonna be a lot more damage so i'm gonna spawn just for example so the frost giant here now look look at the damage so 200 uh, let me remove okay 250 it's doing one combo is 1600 so 1000 damage in one combo this is quite insane how he's doing the combos with the hammer look at this two combos he did one uh, these heavy attacks that he's doing with the hammer doing the most damage to player and don't forget that this Frost Giant boss have a lot of armor also, this is the, how he's uh, destroying this troll with the hammer. Let me give him the mace, it's better against the uh, PvE. So look the, how he gonna kill this uh, troll with the, with this momentum. So he gonna do now a full combo, 2300, he missed the first hit, but look at this, uh, when he's turning, like the damage is quite insane about this troll i don't know why they they buffed it so much or i don't know what's going on but try to use them on a pvp if you all your clan use this troll and they are like going around hitting players and they if you are like four or five player in pvp the enemy not gonna focus your troll they have to focus on you because you're gonna poke them for free if they focus your troll and you have like four or five troll so this can be insane for also base speed, base defending and raiding to kill enemy trolls and stuff. But just manage the, their HP bars and you will be good. The last thing we're gonna talk about the, in this video is gonna be where you're gonna find these trolls. So the cannibal brute of course it's gonna be two locations to get it. One gonna be in the summoning place. You come inside the summoning place. It's here. You go one on the right and one on the left. Two spot here. And you're gonna have one spot in front of the Drake's uh, dungeon in here. It's kind of cannibal brute standing here and you can just see it when you are going to the Drake's. I only know this location for the cannibal brutes and you guys tell me in the comments where you find this Tugara. If you guys know, just put it down below in the comments so you can help other people to find this troll also. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video about the best troll in conan exile to deal the most damage even more than arena champion is quite broken and interesting to have it thank you guys for watching i will see you all in the next video